Oh, for fuck's sake, why isn't it working? All right, let me do it manually. Uh, we have to switch to this scene and lower this sound. There we go. Welcome, everybody. How are you guys doing? Big Ben, Blaine, Tom, Kat and Andy. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, we are here today for a short cooking stream. Um, sorry that I couldn't do the whole stream, but it would have been like, well, I started with the buns at 12 a.m. No, 12 p.m and they just got out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. Here is the result. Uh, there you go. So how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Yep, it's been a while, Andy. It's been a while. Yeah, right? Those look freaking amazing. I can't wait to bite into them. I've, got, I've made one small one. Uh, so that we can rip into it and see how it looks from the inside. Let me quickly get that one. <clears throat> That's this one. So, um, God damn it, it's annoying that I... I really have to get used to that I can't see myself. Uh, you're watching the F1 race. Nice! I'm doing quite well today. Uh, honestly. How about all of you? I really hate that I can't see myself. Um, wait, can I open my own stream on my phone? Let me check. Nex, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Wait, let me quickly see if I can somehow uh, see my stream at the same time while I see your chat. Apparently not. Okay, um, that's annoying. Hold on, I should be able to just open it, uh, open the regular stream window. Let me see. Uh, my channel. Live. Oh, I turn the sound off. There we go. Now I can at least see myself with a little bit of delay. Um, Tomcat, how are you doing though today? I hope you're doing well. And Nex, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I hope so as well, Tomcat. Um, I've got quite the stuff planned. Um, I spent the day basically preparing everything. I've made a lovely bacon jam that you can see here. Well, uh, there. Which is really nice. Um, and then I've made some pickles myself as well. Uh, we've got homemade salt brine fries prepared. I'm only going to make a few of those because they have to be enough for tomorrow. No worries, Tomcat. All good. Uh, Tomcat, sorry. Next. Don't you worry about that. It's all good. Uh, I'm starting to feel better. Thank you very much for that. Um, it's going to take a while till I'm back to fully normal, but um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was preparing and cooking for 10 minutes of eating, yeah. But, but dad is worth, is worth it, so he definitely deserves that. Uh, then I've also made a, well, kind of aioli with some extra spices as well, which is really nice. Um, what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, we've got some lovely maple bacon, which I can't wait to try. Let's see. I mean, look, hear this. Mmm. Yeah, and then we obviously have the buns. So, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the fries because I'm gonna get the oil off the stove so I can get the second pan for the fry deck on top, up there. So, we're gonna take like a little bit more than a handful, just a few. Like I said, I have to make sure that there are enough left for tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's a nice portion. Let's do that. Close those down again. Quickly dry my hands off. And then we need to pat them dry. Now, um, those are simply uh, russet potatoes cut in strips and brined in a 3% salt solution for, well, what is it now? A little bit over 24 hours. Um, and the frying is very easy, just it's twice fried at 160 degrees Celsius for three minutes. 
Then you take them out, heat up uh, the oil to 175, and do another 30 to 45 seconds, and that's it. So, um, let me get that one ready, so we can get them out. And I'm gonna have to check the time. All right, 55.30. In they go. All right, so till 58.30. And then they should be ready for the first batch. I'm gonna get some kitchen paper ready to drain them on. There we go. Now, once they are done, we're going to throw in the burger, then the egg, uh, and then it's basically only time to construct and eat. Now, let's have a look at this burger bun in the innards. Oh, look at that fluffiness. That's genius. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect burger bun. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. Let's do some bacon. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> Look at buddy. <laughs> Watching every th single thing I do, hoping some meat will fall down. Now there. Oh, hold on. I forgot to turn on the light over here. Wait, why are you not plugged in? Where are you? Why are you not plugged in? That's a bit annoying. Hmm. Well, now let me turn on that second light over here. That should give us a little bit more light over in that corner as well. There we go, yeah. Now, they are lovely and frying. How much longer? One more minute, and then they should be done with the first fry. Now I've got some lovely large, bio, uh, what are they called in English? Bio eier, uh, basically free range and untreated, no uh, anti antibiotics or anything like that. So they should be nice. Um, what else? Oh yeah, obviously we need to start cutting the onion soon. Um, and the tomato. But actually we can do that towards the end. Are we there yet? Almost 15 more seconds. I'm gonna call it an <laughs> yeah, but it's a special kind of egg. It's an untreated egg. All right, that's the first fry. <clears throat> I'm gonna heat up the oil to 100 and, well, I can only do it in 20 degrees uh, steps, so at 180, even though it should be 176. Um, yeah, we're quickly gonna drain those off and pat them dry a little bit. There we go. Let me start forming the burger patty in the meantime, while we wait for the oil to heat up. There we go. I'm doing a 150 grams burger patty, which is pretty big, but I'm quite hungry. I haven't really eaten anything yet today. So I'm not gonna do too much to it. I'm just gonna basically throw it in, press it down, and then, uh, well, fry it. <laughs> Easy, right? But on your own cooking show, <laughs> well, I wish I was good enough for that, but let's be honest, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a uh, home cook that uh, has a couple of years experience, but I'm nowhere near uh, chef level. <laughs> I wish I were though. <laughs> All right, I think the oil is hot enough now. So let's throw in the fries for the second fry. Um, oh no, actually, hold on. No, I'm not gonna do that. Since they only take like 30 seconds. Ha, 
change of plans. Um, give me one second. I need something to, yeah, we're gonna just take my oven glove. I'm gonna take the oil off the heat and we'll prepare everything else and then we should throw in the fries at the end again to finish them off. There we go. Let's put this one on instead. I'm gonna switch to heat. I'm gonna heat you up. Then we need some butter. There we go. Um, ba -boom, the knife. There we go. We'll throw in some butter here. By the way, if you're wondering, this is the fat from the bacon jam earlier. I'm going to use it to fry the burger in. I'm going to throw in some extra butter as well. There we go. Now, actually, no. You know what? I'm going to preform the patty. I do have a, these lovely metal rings over here. These ones, which are perfect size for the burger we're trying to make. So we're going to just press it down gently in here until it fills the ring. We have a nice, perfect patty. There we go. I'm going to make a little dent in the middle. That helps in case it started, starts to bulge in the middle. This one helps to even it out, any, uh, that it is even after cooking. And there we go, that's our burger patty. Lovely. All right. Yep. And it is starting to heat up. Um, I'm gonna take this one for the egg. Wonderful. I'm gonna kind of slow cook the egg. Let's, well, let's throw the burger patty in first. There we go, and our egg. There we go. Wonderful. We also have a lovely slice of cheddar cheese we're gonna throw on top at the end. Once it's ready, I'm gonna use this one to flip it. Wonderful. Yeah, we're just gonna let the egg cook. Same with our, with our burger patty. Lovely, coming along. Wonderful. Let me get the fries out of the way. We don't need them right now anymore. There we go. Actually, I can take that one over to the sink. Buddy, up of time cuts. Plus. Plus. Hop. Wonderful. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's starting to come up a little bit in the middle. So it was good I did that little dimple in there. Now, let me slice up our burger bun. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that inside. Isn't that lovely? Wonderful. Then I'm gonna start slicing the tomato with my lovely Japanese Miyabi 6000 MCT knife, which my uh, stepbrother gave me. And I'm really, really thankful for that. Look at how lovely that slices through the tomato. Yeah, we're just gonna do one big slice like this. And that's gonna be our slice on the, on the burger. Lovely. Yeah, just because of the name. And, and it's, uh, what's it called? Um, this Japanese steel, which is in, insane. Now I'm gonna do it easily. I'm gonna just cut it with the skin. 
gonna take off the dry skin on the outside. And then I'm gonna, again, just cut one slice off, like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna remove the skin afterwards. There we go. And we have a perfect onion slice, a perfect, um, what's it called? Tomato slice, our lovely sauce. We have, oh, I need to flip the burger. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. The egg is ready as well. Let me take that off and put that here. There we go. Now we need this one over here and this one we're going to put back over into the sink. There we go. Uh, then I'm going to throw on the oil again. I'm going to raise that to 180. Wait until it's ready. I'm going to take our cheese, put it on our burger and cover that. There we go. Oh, hold on. There we go. We are getting there. We've got our bacon right here. Come off. There we go. Three slices of lovely bacon. And one for the mouth. You all make you nervous. Why? You just have to be careful not to touch it. <laughs> but to be honest, it's the first time I'm frying like that as well. Let's have a look at our burger. We don't want it to burn or anything. Ooh. Ah, hold on, that's too hot. Ooh, look at that cheese, lovely. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say that burger is ready. So I'm gonna slide the pan a little bit off the heat, move the burger over here. And then I'm quickly gonna throw in our bun to give it a little bit of char. You don't deep fry, yeah, with the normal frame, uh, with the normal deep fryer, right? Yeah, like I said, it's the first time I've, I've done it like this as well. I had a deep fryer earlier in my life, but switched out for the air fryer. Um, but these, well, I wanna do them the way they're supposed to be done to see how they are. And that's why I'm doing it this way this time. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the first time for me as well. There we go, lovely. Let's take that one off. And this side as well. Wonderful. All right, let's start to construct the burger. We've got a lovely plate here. Let's put the burger bun on there. Lovely. Now, I'm gonna take the advice from uh, foodtheory.com um, regarding the stacking order. Uh, I don't know if you've heard this, there's apparently a huge difference depending on how you stack your burger. And they've done, they've uh, tried five different stacking methods. Oh, I totally forgot the salad leaf. Let me quickly get that ready. Um, and they found out that the one that tastes the best there is actually a taste difference depending on which order the ingredients are on there. And apparently, all right, come on, open up. The best order for the taste is the so-called Krabby Patty order, just like they do on SpongeBob. Um, which is burger patty at the bottom, then salad, then cheese on top of the salad. I know, sounds weird. Um, and then, uh, the tomato slice, the onion slice, no, the tomato slice, the sauces, the onion slice, and then everything else. So we are gonna try that basically, just without the lettuce between the burger and the cheese. We're gonna put it on top of the cheese, but otherwise we're gonna go with that and see if it, if it tastes good. No, apparently not. According to them, not. So, 
burger and cheese on patty uh, on bun. There we go. Next, salad. Then tomato slice. Oh, we can turn that. No, we can turn that off. This one needs to still to heat up. Then that. Then we need a little spoon. Some of my lovely sauce. There we go. Then the onion slice. But that which is got a middle. Apparently, yeah, I would assume so. I've never tried their exact way because you, you wouldn't be able to put the cheese on the burger in the in the frying pan. So I have no idea how good the cheese will melt. Um, but like, like I said, according to them, it's supposed to be the best way. I, but I haven't tried it myself. Um, we need our... Well, okay, that is already sliding like hell. Um, egg on top. Then we take some of my homemade ah, pickles, which I can't open. I'm too weak. Oh, come on. What the hell? Hold on. I have a second left. Let me see if I can open that one. Yeah, that one opens easier. There we go. All right, let me quickly remove that. Now, some lovely dill pickles on top. Let's take one more. There we go. And now we have the bacon. Holy hell. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think the oil is hot enough. Let's put those in. Uh, I'm going to get a little metal bowl to throw them in afterwards. Uh, 30 seconds. 15 seconds passed. Oh, let's put this one on top and press down. There we go. Look at that burger. Well, that side even, looks even better. Mmm. Can't wait to bite into that. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, it's a birthday burger for my father. It's gotta be massive. Oh, uh, rice are getting kinda dark. Let's quickly get them out. Throw on a bit of salt. Yeah, you really got to be quick and ready for the fries. I just realized much more than I thought. But I'm also going to drain them on some paper towel again, because they are a little bit oily for my taste right now. There we go. Let's put them into here. There we go. And there you have it. Burger with homemade fries. Ah, it's not like 3,000 calories, not that much. But uh, it's probably around 1,500 to 2,000. Let's be honest. All right, let's see if I can bite into this monster monstrosity. Oh, this is going to be hard. There we go. I'm going to try to bite in here. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. <clears throat> it 
amazing but messy. Mm. Hold on, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Holy hell. There we go. Oh, that was lovely. Now, let's give, it, give those fries a try. They're supposed to be restaurant quality. They're nice. I gotta say. Mm -hmm. I think I cut them a little bit too thin. They're more like small potato sticks. Mm, but lovely. Mm. Oh, let me take another bite. You gotta really be careful because it basically, as you can see, falls. Mm. I'm gonna eat the rest with a knife and fork. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, I'm not going to make it like that exactly for tomorrow. That's much too, um, what's it called? Much too sloppy for my dad and my, my mom, and uh, my stepmom. I think instead, instead of, oh, hold on, let me turn, turn off the, the oil. Uh, instead, I'm gonna, instead of one big patty, I'm going to do two smaller patties, like 75 grams each, and put the cheese be in between them. And, um... I'm definitely going to cut the uh, tomato and the onion thinner. That should be, uh, should solve a lot of the problems right now. Yeah, because as you can see, this is basically not eatable in that condition. Mm. Oh, the aioli is nice. All right, let me quickly wash up. Uh, and then we're done for today. Give me a moment. Ah. Yeah. Now, if you're interested, I'm gonna change place. Welcome, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do, cut it in half tomorrow as well. Um, anyway, hold on, let me quickly... Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, video capture device. Main cam. A small goodie for buddy, yay! Wait, why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? I'm going to give him that in one moment. There we go. Ah, let me give Buddy that small goodie. Eh, come on. There you go. All right, everybody. Hi, I'm, I'm okay, Jace Place. Thank you for asking. Oh, hold on. What's going on with the camera? Uh, let me quickly move that up a little bit. Come on. Wreck me already. Um, there we go. That's better. All right. Um, as I said, this was only going to be a short one. I'm still not 100% back up to normal. Um, but yeah, I, I can tell you one thing at least for the foreseeable future. We will be concentrating on cooking streams in the summer IRL streams and Friday Night Song Championships. They will come back as well, promised. Um, just today I realized that I'm not back up to, uh, to well, mental health, normal. And uh, I mean, even, even this short stream filled me with a level of anxiety I've rarely felt. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure when the next stream is gonna be. I'll try to do one next weekend, cooking again. And thank you, JH Place, that means a lot. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do one next weekend again, uh, some cooking maybe. 
Uh, no problem. Um, thank you, Dikoko. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, and yeah, this is going to be it. Half an hour. Quick and dirty. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to post most of the recipes tomorrow on the Discord or later today. Um, if you're interested, um, I've made the buns myself, I've made the fries myself, I've made the... Um, <laughs> Should we just see both the front and the back? Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> you're right. Oh, that's good to hear, uh, Dico. That's very good to hear. Um, yeah, the buns, the fries, the pickles, uh, the mayo. And if you like, I can post all of the recipes on Discord. Um, I've only taken them from other uh, content creators, uh, mostly Joshua Wiseman. He gave me the fries and buns recipes, and uh, Kenji gave me the pickle recipe, and the mayo recipe is just, uh, well, it's a simple mayo, not very difficult. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you all for being here, I really, really appreciate that. Now you wanna bury yourself? Order one, Tomcat. <laughs> Smash it, welcome, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm about to end though, unfortunately. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your evening, an amazing rest of your weekend, and a good start into the week on Monday. Um, yeah, there's not much left to say. Thank you for all your support, for all the well wishes I've received. Um, and yeah, I hope I'll be back up top very, very soon, and we'll be back full time, well, not full time, but you know what I mean, uh, with the regular three to four streams a week. Uh, in the foreseeable future, like in a couple of weeks, hopefully. All right, have a good one, everyone. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Love you all.